New at 10, loved ones gathered today to celebrate the lives of a couple who died in a crash in Janesville over the weekend. Let's bring in WMTV's Shana Najaw and Shana, the driver failed to stop at a red light at the intersection of East Delavan Drive and Beloit Avenue and hit another car. That's right, and, and it was 70-year-old Wayne Caswell and 52-year-old Gretchen Walbum who died of the injuries they suffered in the crash. The two were loved by many. Family and friends told stories and laughed and cried with one another at this evening's celebration of life. The best human being I've ever met. Joshua Caswell says his father Wayne Caswell and his fiance Gretchen Walbum were two of the best people he's ever known. Celebrate how good of a man he was and Gretchen too, I mean how good of a woman she was and the uh, the unfortunate loss of a couple of beautiful souls. The couple died together after an August 17th crash in which another driver failed to stop at a red light, hitting their vehicle. It's an unfortunate tragedy and totally could have been controlled and stopped. Friday, dozens gathered at a spot Wayne visited often. It's also the place where he met his beloved. Right here at the VFW, I mean, they were by each other's side almost every day, all day. And I mean, they definitely made each other and everybody else happy all the time. Surrounded by hundreds of photos of the duo, loved ones reminisced at Wayne and Gretchen's celebrations of life. At least I know how great of a person he was and still would be. And I'm, I'm happy to be, be able to get, get with everybody and be able to enjoy some good memories with everybody. The 32 year old man who hit them was allegedly intoxicated. He's being held on a $1 million bond and facing charges of homicide by intoxicated use of a motor vehicle, among other charges. Live in the studio, Shana Najawin, WMTV 15 News.